It's time now to clear the air. And there is something striking about the way the Republican candidates appear to have divided on the issue of personal faith and religious conviction. Mitt Romney and John Huntsman, both Mormons, have hardly mentioned their own religious views. And this may be because they're conscious that some voters would be reluctant to see a Mormon in the White House. But when it comes to Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry, virtually every public comment has been laced with the conviction that they prayed and God led them to run for the presidency. Of course, invoking God and claiming that he's led us to make a certain decision is nothing new. And, and it can be quite beguiling. Confident politicians reaching into their own spiritual lives can persuade people that their election is somehow predestined and therefore not voting for them, well, that would be to defy the will of God. The best response, however, to those who claim that their candidacy is divinely inspired was delivered by Abraham Lincoln way back in 1865. At the time, both sides in the Civil War believed that God was on their side. Those on the side of the Union said that they were fighting a righteous battle. Similarly, the Confederacy chose as their motto, God will vindicate us. But this is what Lincoln wrote in a manuscript that came to be known as Meditations on the Divine Will. In great contests, each party claims to act in accordance with the will of God. Both may be, and one must be wrong. God cannot be for and against the same thing at the same time. In the present civil war, it is quite possible that God's purpose is somewhat different from the purpose of either party. How perfect was President Lincoln's insight? It would be much more sensible for each of these candidates to stop invoking God's name for the purposes of their own political campaigns and instead to offer up the world's best-known prayer. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven.